Hello and welcome to this next tutorial where I'm going to take you through the process of creating an email template that you can use with all of your email newsletters that you send out through MailChimp. So uh, here we are on the MailChimp dashboard. I have got an account with MailChimp and I've just logged in. So first of all you'll need to set up your MailChimp account and then log in to MailChimp. So here we are at the dashboard which is where you kind of land once you've logged in. And up the top you can see on the navigation bar there's a button for campaigns. Um, so you could go into your templates area to have a look at what templates you've got available for email through the campaigns up the top here. Or you can go down to the left hand side and you can see under create campaign you've got a my templates button here so that's a shortcut there. So I'm going to go into my templates and as you can see I've got three options here. So I can go to the My Templates area, which is a, a saved area where it will have all the templates that I've created before. I can go to the Pre-Designed area. Um, that has a number of templates that have been designed by MailChimp, so the colour schemes are all put in for you and they can look quite pretty and quite impressive. Um, but saying that, you know, it might not be the right colour scheme for you, so I think you've got a little bit more flexibility if you do it yourself, and this is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So that's going through the basic area. So you're going to select a layout, and then you're going to add your own design and content. So I'm going to select basic here. Now, for some reason, I think it's just my browser, unfortunately, for this video, my pictures to demonstrate what... Um, these, these email layouts look like are just not working, but hopefully they'll be working in your browser. Uh, so I can figure out what's going on though from the description here. So, you know, I've got a two column layout over here on the left. I've got two columns with a sidebar, either on the left or on the right over here. Um, I've got a three column layout over here, etc., etc. So there's a number of different options in terms of the layout. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you something that's probably quite similar to um, your website, which is a column with a sidebar on the right hand side. So I'm going to click edit so that I can change the layout and put a little bit of design as well on top of that layout. So here we are. This is my untitled brand new template. Okay, so it's super easy to do in MailChimp. As you can see, um, it really is fairly self-explanatory. I can insert my image here which will be my header and as you can see if you want to put your own header in um, you need to have an image that's 600 pixels wide. So whether you're doing it yourself or you're getting your designer to send you something make sure it's 600 pixels wide and you can have any height here as well. So you can literally just insert your image by clicking on there Oh, sorry, you need to click change first. <laughs> and then you can drag and drop files onto here or you can browse and find the file on your computer and literally just upload it. So in this example, let's see if I've got any images here. Now, I don't know if I've done them at 600 wide, but let's just try this, this particular one. Okay, I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna save and insert image. So there we go, we have Terry's lovely uh, header header in the header area here. Okay, so now that I've done my header image, you can see I've got all my social sharing buttons just on the right hand side uh, sidebar over here. So um, these are actually programmed according to what you entered when you set up your account. So if you put in your details for Facebook, Twitter, um, this will all work fine. But if you're not 100% sure, you can always override that. So you might want to do that just to be on the safe side. You can literally edit this block by clicking edit when you hover over it. And as you can see, it's nothing more than a link. So friend on Facebook, I can highlight that text. And then I can select the link button just on the editing toolbar up here, which looks like a little chain. That will bring a pop-up window up. And as you can see here, this is the code that is basically saying to the system, go and find the Facebook profile from the account area and link to that. So if I want to overwrite that, I can always just type in the Facebook URL. So mine is facebook.com and let's just say slash MailChimp test. And I'm going to insert that and then I'm going to save. So that has now put a link to the Facebook page right here. 
You can do the same for Twitter, so it's the same kind of process. And then forward to a friend here, you may want to actually change uh, the text there. I don't think you really need to edit it that much. It's nothing more than a link that will bring up a brand new um, email to um, for, the, for the person to send to their friend, basically, so they can forward your email to their friends. So if we just want to have a look at the underlying um, code for this link, it's literally just a forward link. It's nothing more than just um, opening up a brand new email with no text in so that the person can forward this to their friend. So you probably don't need to do anything with that. Okay, here is um, another block that you can use if you want to insert your image. Um, I'd suggest maybe in the right hand side bar you might want to put a little something about yourself or your company. So this might be your logo or um, your headshot. Um, so you, it's the same process that I've just demonstrated for the header. You would click edit and then you would search for an image from your media library or you would upload an image from your computer and use it there. And again, when you hover over this, you can see that it's wanting an image that's 160 pixels wide. So that's what you need to work to in order to insert an image that will look good in this particular block. Now, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to actually edit the text in here. And this will be the same process for all of the text blocks that we've got on here. So I'm going to hover over this particular block and you'll see the edit button comes up. So if I click on that, and here is my uh, text block here. So it's very much like WordPress admin. You've got your different headings that you can use here. It's demonstrated here. And I can literally just type over this content or I can copy and paste uh, a blog post or, or the start of a blog post and maybe link off to my website um, from there as well. Um, again, if you wanted to add links, it's very easy to do. Just highlight the text there and then use your link button up on the toolbar here. Very much the same as uh, WordPress, and you can literally type in your link. So I'll put google.com. There we go. And I'm going to save that. So now I have edited some of the text that's in this particular um, content block here. And you, it's the same process for all of these different content blocks. It's the same process for inserting an image as I've demonstrated before there. Now down the bottom here are some more social sharing links, very similar to the ones that I showed you on the right hand sidebar. So it's just so people don't miss them. You have them in two different places just to make sure that they don't get overlooked and at least they'll get picked up from somewhere. Uh, you've got a number of automatic uh, links down the bottom and I'd suggest that you don't really touch those. You know, these are kind of requirements that you need to, to make sure um, you satisfy when you're actually sending out an email list. So for instance, you know, the mailing address and things like that need to be in there to comply with legislation. So I wouldn't touch that. Um, and again, your unsubscribe and update subscription preferences, you need to have that in by law. So I would not suggest touching that um, unless you maybe want to change the text. Okay, so that is pretty much our template. If you really wanted to, you could also start playing around with your background color, which you've got up the top here. If you've got a hex code or, or the HTML code for your color, you could reprogram it, or you could simply just select another color from the background. Okay. Uh, you could even change all of the background colors in here as well. So um, if you wanted to have a look at some of the other options that you've got, um, you know, you've got your email border in here, you can actually change the colors of that. You know, you've got um, how wide your email border is. You can see where it's highlighted in red here. This is actually the border that we're working with. You can make it solid or dashed or any other type of styling there. Here we can uh, change the, uh, the formatting of heading 1, 2, 3, and 4 for our text blocks. So if you've got um, a particular font that you use and that's part of your branding, you can program that all into this area as well. And let's just have a look through here. So header, um, you can change all of your header text. So you can see these are the header text blocks here. Um, you, you can change the background color. You can see we've got a sandy beige color, so very similar to your page background. You can change your header background here just by changing the color preferences in there. Okay, and then just going through all of these other links, you've got the text in these two boxes. As you can see, it's quite straightforward. I mean, um, 
you know, every time you click on something, it actually highlights exactly what you're changing. So here we can see I'm changing the formatting for the link that's in your header, so your pre-header link. We've got the header styling here. So if you didn't actually insert an image, you would be able to control the styling that you've got in, in, um, in here. So that would be your, your background and your border. You can actually change that quite a bit as well. And your header text as well. So if you're actually using text and not an image, you can amend all of the text settings under this area here. Again, we have some more control around our body, so you can change the font and the links um, that are all automatically defaulted to within the body. Same with the sidebar, very, very similar options in there that I've already demonstrated. The columns, um, again, changing background text, so you can see there's quite a lot that you can do in here. Footer. And then monkey rewards, well, I think that's an affiliate scheme, so you probably don't want to worry too much about that. So there we go. You can save an exit once you've changed all that to satisfy yourself and give your template a new name. So I'm going to call this my test template. And I'm going to save it as. And then I'm going to exit here because I've saved my template now. So now if I go into my templates area, I will be able to see the templates I've got saved, and here you can see this is my test template, which I just did. So if I wanted to send a campaign, I can do it just literally from here and amend my text to send a new newsletter. There you go, that's creating a new template for your emails from MailChimp.